Hi, it's Katie from Little Miss Meat Free, and today I'm here at Tibbetts on Heddon Street, where we are celebrating all things vegetable, and we've snuck them into everything. As vegan ambassador for Tibbetts, I wanted to bring you decadent and delicious recipes. Hi, it's Katie from Little Miss Meat Free, and today I'm at Tibbetts in Heddon Street, and I'm showing you how to make my courgette and thyme scones. Now these are a really simple dish that you can make at home that are ready in 12 minutes. So we'll go through what we need for this. So to start, you need about 500 grams of plain flour. You need half a teaspoon of bicarb of soda. That's really important to get a good rise on these. We're looking at about two tablespoons of fresh thyme, a teaspoon of mixed dried herbs. Anything you've got in your cupboard works really, really well here. A pinch of sea salt and pepper. And you need a medium courgette that's grated. And it's always good to give it a good squeeze as well because it can be full of liquid when they're in season. So we'll start by adding all the dry ingredients. So we've got our 500 grams of plain flour and then half a teaspoon of bicarb of soda and that just gives a nice rise to the scones. And you can trust the rise of bicarb a bit better than the salt raising flour. So into that we're going to add a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs, two tablespoons of fresh thyme. Now the fresh thyme does give a nicer woodier flavour than the dried one. So I'm just going to chop that a bit more finely now. I'm just going to add that into the mix there. I'm going to stir everything through here so everything's coated in flour. And then into that, I'm just going to add some of the courgette. Now, again, if, if you've given it a good squeeze, not got too much moisture in, so that they are full of moisture in summer, which is, which is really good when you're cooking, but not so good for scones. And when you're stirring that through, just make sure that all the courgette is coated in flour, then that way it won't sink to the bottom. And that comes together quite nicely. The courgette is now coated evenly and I'm just going to add in about 250 millilitres soya milk. Now you can add any non-dairy milk that you like. This one's nice because it's unsweetened. I'm just going to add it bit by bit. And you don't actually want to wet the dough too much so it changes the texture of the scone. You don't want a doughy scone. my hands now just to bring that dough together a bit more. Again, not working it too much. We don't want the texture to change too much. We want it to be quite floury. And that's ready to put out on the board now. So just a light dusting of flour. Just to make it easy to go on. And you can just work the dough just so it comes together a little bit more. Have yourself a baking tray ready with some greaseproof paper on it for ready when you cut them out. So if you get the dough just into a square shape and you can just roll it down, just remember to flour your rolling pin so it doesn't stick. It can be a bit stickier with it being courgette base. And you want it just a couple of centimetres thick. People are quite precious about how they like the scones. I don't like mine too thick but it's got a bit of bicarb in there so it's going to rise a bit. And you want to get a scone cutter. A little tip with this is when it goes in, you don't want to twist it because it distorts the shape when you're actually baking it. So it's just a small twist and out. Small twist. So again with this, with the courgettes being a bit wetter, you might want to just put a little bit of um, flour in there so it doesn't stick. You'll probably get about 12 out of this dough. You can make some more smaller ones if you prefer but I like them less bite size. I'm just going to top these with a little bit of soya milk just on the top there. It makes it a bit more golden. So to make them really golden, you can add in half a teaspoon of turmeric as well. It doesn't alter the flavour, it just makes them very, very golden, so it looks really fantastic. And they can go to a preheated oven at 220 degrees for about 12 minutes. We're going to ask Brian, the head chef, to do that for us. are now ready, they're lovely and golden on the top and perfect to cut into. You can serve these with a little bit of soya butter or some sunflower spread or some non-dairy cheese and they're delicious. They're really hot. <laughs> <laughs>